Good morning from Studio 57 here in New York. I'm Anne Marie Green. Vlad is off this week. Here's a look at the stories grabbing our attention right now. A stunning comment from President Biden. He indicates the U.S. will step in to protect Taiwan if the island is ever attacked by mainland China. So we're going to tell you how Beijing reacted and what the White House is now saying. Monkeypox cases are rising around the world. Ahead, we'll have the latest on the situation here in the U.S. and explain how the virus is transmitted. And breaking this morning, a Ukrainian court rules in the first war crimes trial since Russia's invasion. I'm going to tell you what sentence a 21-year-old soldier received. Plus, a new report alleges widespread abuse and a pattern of cover-ups in the Southern Baptist Convention. We are following the latest developments on that. And Scott McFarland takes us inside a school where the menu is shrinking due to the rising cost of ingredients. What inflation and the debate over funding are doing to your kids' school lunches. Plates became unavailable. We had to call those manufacturers and develop those relationships to say, how do we best get the trays we need to service our student? All right, we're going to get into all of that. But first, the White House is attempting to clarify controversial comments President Biden made during his trip to Japan. He was responding to a question about Taiwan from Nancy Cordes. They're already flirting with danger right now. The president's 